Hello, time to play some ten ball. And here, here you see the two four combination is what we must do. So I will play position so that it is almost uh, straight in. I'm aiming to be straight in on the two ball. And now we will make the combination. Yeah, almost straight in. And now the two ball will go here and the cue ball will stay on that side so we will make the two ball in that other corner pocket. So we now we just need to shoot a, a little harder so the two ball goes where we want it to. Yeah, not, not hard enough. Yeah, which pocket do we choose now? We can choose, choose either pocket. It depends on the position play. We want to be on this line for the three ball and come back up for the five. So we want to play position. If, if we shoot this shot, we will end up on the wrong side of the three ball because we can't use enough side spin to come up here. So that's why we will choose that corner. And we will use the left spin and a little follow to come up here with the cue ball. Okay, let's do that. Come back up like that. And now we have a good angle on the three ball. We just roll it in, come up here. And uh, how do we get to the seven ball from the six ball? Here, if we make a stop shot, we can shoot the six uh, like that. And we would normally go two rails for, for position on the seven, but the eight is in the way, so we can't do that. So maybe being here on the six is a good idea, but coming from the five ball into this position is dangerous because of the seven. So I want to go further away with the, with the, the cue ball after making the five, maybe somewhere here is good. Then we can go one rail and come up for the seven. So. I, I don't want to have angle on the 5 because we want to go to that side. Having this angle means that we would need to go this direction and the 10 is in the way, so we can't do that. So we want to be on this side of the 5 to draw back the cue ball there. So I'm, I want to be somewhere, somewhere on this area, okay? So I will play position for that. Uh, there's also another choice, is to come into the angle. By using right spin there there and then come into the angle i think that's the best choice so i use a lot of right spin there so you need to choke the cue when using extreme spin i use draw and right spin here then i came into the angle that's perfect now it is easy to come uh, get position for the six here I use draw and right spin. Yeah, and now we have the correct angle on the sixth ball to come one rail up for the seven. Here, uh, if I stop here, I'm still okay because after making the seven, and the, the cue ball will come here, and then I have a good angle on the eight to come two rails up for the nine because the nine is in a good place near the side pocket. So, just I just need to have the make the seven in the side and I'm, I will be okay no matter what happens so I want to be straight in on the seven. Oh, I forgot, forgot to focus on the six there so now I just uh, go one rail I will accept this this angle on the eight so I can easily come up for the nine I can also be straight in on the eight because look at that Perfect shot on the, for the side pocket. So I, I will aim to stop the cue ball straight in on the eight. That is a good place. Yeah. Now I can just make a stop shot. And I, I already have the perfect angle, angle on the nine ball. So I make a stop shot here. Now I have the perfect angle. I can roll the cue ball forwards. Here, uh, there's a trick here. Normally, uh, if you use uh, outside spin, right spin, 
the cue ball will come too close to the ten ball there. But if you use inside spin, you can hit thinner on the nine, so the cue ball will actually go that direction instead, instead of that direction. So you can control the direction using side spin. So with inside spin, I can hit thinner on the nine ball, so the cue ball will go that direction instead of that. And if you use outside spin like this, the cue ball will go more to that direction. Okay, so now I use inside spin. I will change the natural uh, path of the cue ball by using inside spin. Yeah, you see? Now the cue ball is in a safe place, fur further away from the 10. If it would, would have been closer, I could have easily messed up. So now I just make the 10 and uh, the game is over. Yeah, so that's the end of my video. Subscribe to my channel, check out my Patreon, the link is below. If you support me, I can make more of these videos. So, goodbye, I will see you next time.